Hello guys, this is a treat here for all number theory students and everybody who loves number theory. This latest app from TI Inspire Apps solves all type of number theory problems. Let me give you a quick overview. So we got all the theorems and conjectures covered, Goldbach, Collatz, prime number theorem, of course Euler's theorem from us, Little and the last theorem, Wilson, Chinese remainder theorem, law of quadratic reciprocity, and Bezu's theorem. So let me just show you quickly Euler's theorem. As you know, is stated right here. As long as the integers a and m are co-prime, which means they are relative prime, they don't share common factors, Euler's theorem will give you 1 when a is raised to the power of m minus 1 mod m. So here's an example. If we have 5 raised to the 3 minus 1, will give us 5 squared, 25, which equals 1 mod 3. Another example, if we have 7 raised to the 2, which will give us 49, and obviously 49 divided by 3 is 16 with a remainder of 1, which is exactly what the mod gives us, the remainder, when divided by that number here in the back, the modulus. Also, to show you, uh, this theorem only will gives you 1 if a and m, 6 and 3, are co-prime. Here they are not, so we don't get 1, which is correct. Let's continue. From our last theorem, we all know that one. Chinese remainder theorem, if you're really an expert in number theory, in number theory is in the center of number three. A lot of other theorems can be proven using this. So let me give you a glimpse of that one. Chinese remainder theorem, we have that here. We have to define three congruences. And if we do a very simple one, x is 1 mod 2 and 1 mod 3 and 1 mod 5, we actually write out what those integers are. Here, these are all the odd integers. The next line, x equal 1 mod 3, are all the integers that are just one more than um, one more of any number divided by 3, leaving a remainder of 1. And here we have the integers that are one more than the numbers divided by 5. And obviously, x equals 1, as we can see here, is the solution to the Chinese remainder theorem. So let's make that a little bit more interesting. So here now we change the second congruence, where we have all integers that are 2 um, mod 3, and then we can see that the solution is 11, and we can actually see the 11s right here, and since our solution is mod 30, that means um, all x's that are 11 mod 30 will also be solutions, such as 41, 71, 101, etc. So this is a lot of fun. And let's continue. So these are all theorems that we have here, all the way down to Bezu theorem. Primes, of course, that's the heart of uh, number theory. We have, we list primes, we do a prime factorization. We check if two integers are co-prime. We have Euler's, Euler's phi function here, etc. Euclidean algorithm. Okay, Euclidean algorithm, here we go. You enter two integers, 21 and 6, for example, and we immediately get 3 as the greatest common divisor. Let's make that a bit more interesting. Well, 21 and 19 don't have a common divisor, so they're co-prime. So the greatest common divisor is 1. And how about 25? and 65, which obviously have a greatest common divisor of 5, and when we 
perform the Euclidean algorithm, we see here that we get the new remainders 15, 10, 5, and eventually 0. And the greatest common divisor is always the remainder in the second to last line. So the one above the zero line. Okay, so it works like a charm and always gives you correct answers here. So let's see what else we got under prime. So we already spent a lot of five minutes and we really haven't gotten to many other parts. So you can of course list any, any primes on a given range. Say you want the number primes between one and 10 or one in 100, no problem. One in 1,000, so it gets a little bit tricky here already. And uh, you can just define the range up here and the prime numbers are being listed. Modular arithmetic, compute 22 mod five is equal to two because 22 when divided by 5 leaves a remainder of 2. That is also 25 can be divided evenly by 5, but 26 will leave a remainder of 1. So very important tool to have under modular arithmetic and then of course we also want to be able to take uh, powers quickly. 3 squared is 9 which equals 4 mod 5 and we can do big um, exponents to get uh, large powers like this one here. And it's always correct. You never have to press enter. You get your answer right away. And very, very helpful. Anything about integers, factoring, expanding, find greatest common divisor, least common multiple, sigma notation, if you will are familiar with sigma notation, the sum from 1 to 4 of, the, of n squared will give you 30 because 1 plus 4 plus 9 plus 16 is equal to 30. Change your function here and you get correct answers right away. Works like a charm. Diophantine equations are equations in whole number solutions. So you can have some fun here. Algebra is a, is a pretty um, complete menu here. Solve any equation. Solve a two by two system of equations, three by three. For solving powers, proper fractions, proportions, absolute and percent change. You can look up truth tables used in logic. Uh, polynomials, also important in number theory. You can explore polynomials. You can find the degrees, the possible rational zeros. Uh, you can do synthetic division, polynomial division, also known as long division. You can solve uh, sequences, geometric sequences, arithmetic sequences. Uh, you can do the quadratic equation. Just enter a quadratic equation and all your coefficients, 1, negative 6, and 10 in this case here, are plugged into the quadratic equation and you're going to get step-by-step -step solutions. Sometimes you get complex solutions and sometimes you get real solutions, like here. That just, of course, depends on the discriminant, which is the part inside the square root to determine what type of solutions you're going to get. You can also complete the squares and uh, to find zeros and vertices. You can analyze complex numbers. So you can see com oh, combinatorics, of course, compute the number of rearrangements, NPR, NCR, etc. can all be done with this uh, program. And lastly, we also have a section on game theory zero-sum games, etc. prisoner dilemma. So this app is a lot of fun. And uh, as I said, it's for anybody who studies number theory or who just enjoys number theory. Thanks for watching.